Jalen Hurts. Well, if you follow college football, you've probably heard of this guy. Most recently, he was the Heisman runner-up to LSU quarterback Joe Burrow, throwing for 3,851 yards, 32 touchdowns, and only 8 interceptions. He also picked up 1,298 yards on 233 rushing attempts, tacking on another 20 touchdowns. And since it was his last year, he received an invite to Jim Nagy's Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama, a chance where many scouts get their first up-close look at the draft's upperclassmen. And it was there where he had a special surprise waiting for those that attended the event. Jalen Hurts walked into his opening press conference, and this was what was waiting for him. A specially made Rydell helmet that showcased the two teams he played for in his collegiate career. In this video, you can see an Oklahoma Sooners logo on the right side and his Alabama number two on the left. Even the shades of crimson are different since Oklahoma's crimson is slightly lighter than Alabama's, which is a more muted maroon. The helmet was made in association with Special Spectators, an organization that helps sick children and their families attend sporting events. A second version of Hertz's helmet is actually being auctioned off, with all proceeds going to benefit Special Spectators. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can donate to their movement. It may seem like a small thing to do, but in my eyes, Hertz's acknowledgement of Alabama, the team that signed him out of Channel View, Texas, as a four-star recruit, is a massive statement about his character. Hertz enjoyed the majority of his career at Bama, but the latter half of his time there was overshadowed by the emergence of Tua Tagovailoa. Hertz was famously pulled and replaced by Tua in the 2018 College Football Playoff National Championship, who would later throw the game-winning touchdown in overtime to beat Georgia, 26-23. But instead of transferring, Hertz remained at Bama, helping the rising sophomore star adjust to the spotlight and mentoring him. And when Tua injured his ankle against who else but Georgia in the SEC Championship 11 months later, Hertz was there to lead Alabama to a comeback win, scoring the final two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Tua would later praise Hertz immensely after the game, not only for staying at Alabama for another year, but for his preparation as the backup quarterback, saying, It's a testament to Jalen's hard work he's put in the offseason, to character, it shows the kind of character he has with his faith as well, the kind of background he comes from with his family support. I think it's something very special for him to have stayed, and I definitely think he deserves everything that's coming his way right now. Tua later expanded on his comments, saying, I think it's a bigger testament to how he was raised with his family, how they raised him. I think they've done a tremendous job with that. Jalen's an all-around great person, he's a great student, and on the field, he's just a very good supporter to me and Mac Jones, the backup quarterback, as well. Mac Jones is a great supporter of us, but you know, just an all-around great person. Then, when the time came to leave Alabama, Hertz had nothing but good things to say about his time spent with the Crimson Tide. He penned an open letter with the Players' Tribune titled, To My Alabama Family, where he noted his pride about his new status as an alumnus of Alabama, writing, Now I'm Bama for life, his appreciation for Alabama's players, coaches, and fans, while also detailing his excitement about new opportunities on the horizon at Oklahoma. But this paragraph sticks out the most to me. Hertz wrote, Growing up, I never thought I'd get to where I am today as a 20-year-old, and I dang sure never thought I would have the power to positively impact so many people, and especially kids, across the nation like I do now. It's a huge honor, but it's also a huge responsibility. Not everyone in this life gets the chance to be a role model, and that's why I'm on this mission, to be the best player, leader, and man that I can be. I know everything will unfold according to God's timing. I am blessed to be where my feet are, my trust is in his hands. So to my about-to-be family in Norman, I truly appreciate you for bringing me on board. Y'all don't know me yet, but just for now, to introduce myself, I'm a motivated coach's son from the east side of Houston, and I love to play ball. This last sentence sums up Hurts. This is who he is, who he thinks of himself as, just the son of a football coach that loves the game of football and wants to be the best man he can be doing it. 
Hertz may not be the most talented quarterback in this draft class, but his leadership both on and off the field is unparalleled by the other gunslingers in this draft class. His determination, his humbleness, and his willingness to celebrate the success of his teammates even when he's not contributing in a starting role is a very rare characteristic. It should convince many teams that are at the Senior Bowl to buy into him. And his special helmet for the event is just one more example of no matter which team Hurts plays for in the future, he will be the same hardworking individual college football has enjoyed watching for the past four years. Thank you for tuning into this video. Be sure to tell me in the comment section below, do you like Hertz's choice to represent both schools on his helmet at the Senior Bowl? And would you want your favorite NFL team to draft Hertz? Be sure to like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on Twitter at How Analysis, which is the first place I post when a new video goes live. Ciao for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.